It will be 22 degrees tonight, so I think it's time. I recently had a rat or a chipmunk in my house move around my insulation, so I needed to clean up what it had done around my flue. Then I was able to remove this rubber cap that had been on all season while my wood stove was not installed. This is the double walled three inch flue pipe. And basically here, I just needed to make sure there was enough space to actually put my wood stove in. And here's my really cute little tiny wood stove. Once the wood stove was actually placed and the flue pipe was secure on it, I used these large bolts to secure each of the legs through my countertop. Then I had one more section of flue pipe to fit in from the top. And that was like my last big piece to fit together and topped it off with my flue cap. Once that was secure, I did the finishing touches around the five inch flue pipe. And then it was time for my very first test run of the season. You might notice that I don't have a wall behind my wood stove anymore and I like it so much better. And as you can tell, the 